Excerpts of a book written by the former spokesman of the late President Umar Musa Yaradua, Mr. Shegmwa Deni, released by the Associated Press, has been highlighting some of what the former spokesman says are critical issues that were not particularly thrown up for public consumption. The Associated Press says that a copy of the book, which would be officially launched next week, chronicles the late president's admission of rigging, his health, as well as a purported threat of unrest within the army at the time when there appeared to be a vacuum in government as a result of the late president's ill health. Issues will be looked at, are actually being looked at, because I just, we just had a meeting now with the finance minister and the petroleum minister, and those are some of the issues that we talked about. His role as presidential spokesman certainly put him in a vantage position as far as activities involving the late president, Umar Musa Yaradwa, were concerned. Not a few people will, however, be keen to verify some of the explosive revelations in the yet-to-be-launched book, Power, Politics and Death. Take the statement which the book ascribes to the late President Yaradwell on electoral fraud, for instance. Quotes attributed to the book by the Associated Press has the late President purportedly saying, quote, If we will be honest with ourselves, we all know how we rig elections in this country. We compromise the security agencies, we pay the electoral officials and party agents, while on the eve of the election, we merely distribute logistics all designed to buy the vote. End of quote. Another account says that the late president grew so weak while in office that he needed once to be carried by a soldier off a runway during a state visit to Togo, ultimately becoming unable to speak in the last weeks of his life. When he finally returned to Nigeria, the nation was in the dark with regards to Yaradu's health. However, Mr. Adini's accounts, according to the Associated Press, says that the late president could only work a few hours a day, if at all, after the procedure, and that as it grew more ill, the oh, late Yaradua began receiving medical treatment work. in Saudi Arabia, with government officials suspecting that the American the security the agents had penetrated the hospital and right. had gained access to the president's health the profile. <coughs> According to the Associated Press, the ill leader became a political pawn in a charade that saw soldiers deployed without authorization and rumors of a possible coup plot among the elite in Nigeria. It also describes the rise of militancy in the Niger Delta region, including how a militant leader stole thousands of machine guns from Nigerian army depots. The book allegedly went on to recount how the author instructed a cameraman from the state-run television network to film the president from the side only in one instance in 2008 to hide President Yaradua's swollen face after an allergic reaction. The late President Yaradua's departure in late November 2009 for several months to a hospital in Saudi Arabia set up a constitutional crisis that saw government virtually grind to a halt. The National Assembly ultimately voted to empower then Vice President Dr. Goodluck Jonathan to serve as acting president. President Yaradua was whisked back into Nigeria's capital, Abuja, under the cover of darkness days later. Omar Musa Yaradua died on the 5th of May 2010. Dr. Goodluck Jonathan was sworn in as president the next day.